Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use your regular scientific calculator in order to do linear fitting. Now, you do not need anything really fancy like a graphing calculator or probably a computer as long as you have a, f a few data points and uh, the problem is not too complicated so you can definitely use a normal scientific calculator. The only thing that you have to check definitely is look at your user's manual and make sure that your calculator has this mode, a statistics mode. This is the one that I'm going to be using, number one here. And also need to consult that user's manual because the way that you enter the data and the way that you retrieve the parameters for the straight line are going to be a little bit different depending on the specific calculator that you're going to have. Now, this particular methodology is general, so you can use it to whenever it's appropriate to look at the relationship between two variables and see how they fit to a linear model. That's why we call this a linear fitting. And it's not exclusive to this particular problem. Now, in this case, I have a chemical reaction that somehow in the lab, someone run this reaction at different temperatures and they determine what is the equilibrium constant for that reaction and each of those temperatures. So as in any problem, what you're going to look at is the relationship between those two variables and see if there is a linear correlation between the two of them. So in this case, my independent variable is going to be the inverse of the temperature according to the equation appropriate for this problem and the dependent variable is going to be the natural log of the equilibrium constant. And I'm going to get at the end the slope from the straight line coming from linear fitting, and that slope is related to the enthalpy of my reaction, and the intercept is going to be related to the entropy of that reaction. Okay, so let's see now how we can do this in a calculator. Now, again, remember, you need to check that your calculator has this statistics mode, that's the one that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to click mode and then I have a list of all the modes that my calculator has. In this case, I'm going to use the statistics mode, number one. And within this one, look, I have different options. So it's, it's a good calculator, relatively cheap, but good calculator. I have eight, eight different ways of dealing with statistic modes. Now, I'm going to use the linear fitting, so I have to select one. I'm going to be entering data in the fashion of X and Y parameters. So my calculator has this particular button here that says X comma Y. So that's how I'm going to enter the, the points. And once I enter each of the data points, I'm just going to tell the calculator, this is my first point by pushing this button data. Okay, so first one is going to be the inverse of the temperature. So it's going to be 120 to the minus one comma, my y is going to be natural log of the equilibrium constant, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 17. And that's going to be my first data point. Now the second, I go to the second temperature, I take the inverse of that, so 140, inverse of that temperature, comma, natural log of the equilibrium constant at that temperature. So that's 1.21 times 10 to the minus 10. That's my second data point. And I do the same for the other data points that I have on my table. So inverse of the temperature, natural log of the equilibrium constant. And I tell the calculator this is my third point. And I do the same thing for each of them. So once I finish this, that's going to be pretty much everything that I need to do. Now, I have entered four data points, which is the four points that I have in my table. That's all I need to do. The calculator already determined the parameters for that linear fitting. I now have to retrieve those values. So in my calculator, those values are given with the letters B for the slope and A for the intercept. And I can locate them just right here. A, intercept, 
be this loop and also I'm going to retrieve this R value that the square of that value is what we call as the correlation factor and the closest that is to one the best linear fitting we have the dependency between these two variables is good and fits that model the model being a straight line okay so color coded you see that this kind of greenish color so I go with alpha in this and I get let's get first the slope B now this is my slope now the intercept same alpha A now that is the intercept that's what I have and finally let's check the R square value so let's get R and then square that value and look this one is telling me R square is pretty much 1 which is telling me that there is a very nice correlation a linear correlation between the variables in my problem which are natural log of K and the inverse of the temperature that's it so again you do not need a fancy graphing calculator if the problem is simple enough you don't need a, co a computer you can use your scientific calculator please check that your own model can do this in the statistics mode and you should be fine you should be good to go that's it have a good one